Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a GDI engine that has been used in Hyundai or Kia and let's say you pull your dipstick and all of a sudden, okay, the level of the oil is increasing. It's above the maximum and you wonder what happens, what causes that and uh, stay with us, we'll explain what it is. But if it's one simple thing, okay, it can practically destroy your engine in a few minutes or a few hours of driving. So uh, stay with us and we'll explain how that you can prevent that and you can easily fix it in some cases before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from this specifically guys it's a 2.4 gdi engine but even if you have a different gdi engine the procedure is about the same okay if you have increased oil level okay let's say you pull your dipstick and all of a sudden let's say you change the oil and it was at the full mark okay but now it's above the full mark okay we'll explain what to look for now you need to verify first what's the color of the oil we're going to start with uh, number one if the oil is uh, not oily color but uh, after the engine is running you turn it off you pull the dipstick and it looks kind of like a milkish color like uh, uh, milk chocolate kind of thing it's not clean like oil that means that most likely guys you have coolant in the engine oil now two things can cause that so stay with us in well actually four five things can cause that but what can cause coolant to get in the engine oil quite common thing guys is a failing okay uh, head gasket this is your head gasket it's between the cylinder head and the engine block the purpose of that gasket is to uh, make sure that the engine has compression coolant doesn't go anywhere where it's not supposed to and engine go doesn't go anywhere it's not supposed to so practically you don't mix, mix coolant with engine oil coolant doesn't go to the combustion chamber or uh, hot gas doesn't come to the coolant chamber so if it fails engine oil and coolant can mix you can see in so many places and that can easily cause that as well now another thing the same symptoms as having a bad uh, head gasket could be even cracked cylinder head or cracked engine block especially if you had uh, coolant that wasn't uh, uh, that couldn't resist cold temperatures let's say it was diluted or you had water in the winter months it froze that can crack cylinder head or engine block and that can cause the thing to mix as well uh, now another thing could be guys okay this is your oil filter housing that's where the oil filter is and you have two coolant lines so uh, the engine oil is cooled by the coolant and if that oil filter housing cooler fails okay the two can practically mix as well so it could be something such simple such as that oil filter housing but if you keep driving you will mess the engine up uh, because you'll be running out of coolant you can overheat the engine you can cause damage to bearings okay uh, crankshaft bearings rod bearings main bearings guys uh, cylinder head as well due to the oil losing its uh, ability to lubricate now let's say you pull the dipstick but the engine oil is still look like oil it's not milkish color uh, what can cause that okay you need to smell it smell and make sure it doesn't smell like gasoline and it's not diluted if it's diluted guys smells like gasoline most likely you have a leaking fuel injector and leaking fuel injector these are the fuel injectors when you stop the car if they're leaking they'll start uh, putting uh, gasoline in the uh, in the uh, in the cylinder because you have quite a bit of pressure in the GDI system this is a direct fuel injection system I think about 400 psi you will keep dripping fuel and as a result that fuel will go around the piston rings go in the crankcase practically in the open and you have uh, increased your oil level and it will dilute the oil which can be catastrophic for your bearings again cylinder head and you can destroy your engine so uh, leaking fuel injector can easily cause that those are the most common things we see at the shop hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time